Hello everybody, this is a stocky here, and this, I guess I'm calling it an addendum to my video that I just made recently called uh, Complete Guide to How to Make a Ticket 3.1.3 Server. There's a couple of things that either aren't super clear or I didn't totally cover in that video that I want to cover through right now, and I'd like to start by apologizing for my voice. I'm quite sick at the moment. Um, I've done my best to kind of decongest myself but I'll keep going with the video anyway because I really want you guys to see this. So the first thing I wanted to say is Ticket 3.1.3, which is the version my last video was about, has actually been taken down now. The download link is now Ticket 3.1.2, and the reason for that is Ticket itself is generally pretty buggy, but it's super buggy at the moment with 3.1.3. There's a lot of issues with IC2 and NEI not working properly, and just lots of things that really crash for people. So basically they've downgraded the server that you can download back to 3.1.2 everything in the video I put together is pretty much still applicable except for the fact that when you download it now you'll be getting 3.1.2 so if I click on that you can save it and I'm going to put it in my games minecraft take it I'm going to put it in this folder here and the website is still the same technicpack.net forward slash tech it the slight difference though is now I will bring that up and extract it so you can see all of the files put them into the 3.1.2 folder so now pretty much it'll work the same so those of you let's let's start with uh, those of you who can't see this is being launch.bat. If you just see it as being launch, um, what I'll do is I'll just turn it off. So, you, so if you're seeing it just like I'm seeing it right now, and you're using Windows 7, you press Alt T O to go to the Options menu, and then in the Options menu, there's a tick box or a check box that says Hide Known File Extensions. You want to uncheck that. For those of you using Windows 8 like I am. Um, what you need to do is go to the View tab, and over on the right hand side here you have File Name Extensions, and you want to tick that to turn it on, and then it appears. <clears throat> that will also be really useful if you get to the part in the last video where you get stuck trying to create this Technic Launch.bat, because if you go New Text Document like I did, you can see there it has the .txt extension on it. But if we delete that and we turn off the hide file extensions and we say new document you can see there's no extension on it so if you add a .bat it still is a notepad document not a batch file and that's because there really is an extra extension on there that you can't see so I'm going to delete that because I covered that in the last video so now with the server again if you have uh, 4 gig of RAM or a 32 bit operating system you really do need to edit this file to change these values here. I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to demonstrate something. I'm going to run the server. See the server runs. There's a whole lot of errors and things. You don't have to worry about any of those. Those errors are all basically that it's the first time you've run a server. So don't worry about any of those. So you can see that it's now worked. Now there are lots of errors that people get that are caused by doing just this. So I'm going to press the X and you can see the server looks like it's closed but if you press Control shift escape which brings up the task manager you can see you often have a process in here and again this is using Windows 8 so it looks a little bit different but it's basically the same thing and you come down you will often see that there is a Java still running here. In my case I've got quite lucky and Java is not running But if Java was running, you would see it there, and that can sometimes cause the next time you try to run the thing to crash. But the next time I run it, because it didn't shut down correctly, when it actually boots up this time, it'll probably come up with a bunch of errors because I didn't do things right. Although it might not because I haven't actually done anything with the world yet. But what you will normally get is you'll get like errors with... Uh, Railcraft save files and you get a bunch of other different errors like that. If you get errors that say, you know, some file not created or, or different things like that, that means you've closed it down incorrectly. The correct way to do it is to type stop. 
So now, in a lot of the last video, I bring up a command prompt. And I do that by clicking on the start button and then clicking on the run box and then typing in CMD. If you're using Windows 8, that won't work. What you need to do is find the Windows key on your keyboard. It's in the bottom left hand corner normally between Control and Alt. Hold down that key and press the R button at the same time and that will bring up this run box. That's basically the shortcut for how to do it in Windows 8. And then you type CMD and press Enter and then the rest of that works exactly the same. Now there's one more thing, I can't 100% show it to you here, but to uninstall the programs like I do by going to Control Panel in the last uh, video, the way to do that in Windows 8 is you go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen with your mouse, and I think you should be able to just see it now, these little buttons have popped in that say Settings, Devices, Start, Share and Search. Now you click on Settings, and that brings up a Settings pane. Again, I'm not totally sure if you can see it, I know the bit that says Control Panel right now is off the window. But then you click control panel and that will open back up the control panel and then uninstall the program is just there. So you want to click that and you want to go down and make sure that you only have Java 7 here. You don't want to have Java 6. I've got update 9, mine's a little bit out of date. It should be probably update 10 now. But again, the version doesn't really matter as long as it works. Now one other thing that I wasn't very clear about, and I'm going to press uh, Windows key R to bring up run and CMD. Um, when I said type Java version, it's got to be J-A-V-A -A space dash version, and then you press enter. And so you can see there, mine says it's running um, version Java version 7, which is the 7 there. The underscore 09 means update 9, and then down here you can see that it's running 64-bit. So that's pretty much everything that I can think of that I needed to cover. So I've covered how to show file extensions for Windows 7 and Windows 8 <clears throat> so that you can make this a batch file. I've mentioned editing it again. Um, one thing I will say is for some people, when you right click, uh, you don't get an open with, you only get an open, particularly when you come down to something like the server.properties. So if you go open, uh, it says it doesn't have a, a file associated with it, you click OK and it kicks you back out. That sometimes happens. Um, the way I get around that is I've got Notepad++ installed so I can just right click and say edit with Notepad++. Um, some of you will get like I have here an open with dialog. Other people just won't get that at all. If you don't have the open with, the open should function exactly as an open with and you shouldn't get that error. Now again this is a Windows 8 thing which I find kind of annoying but it kind of has changed the interface for how you select which way you want to open it up and then it opens. But in general, open should do the same thing as open with if open with doesn't actually exist yet. So I can't think of anything else that I need to really add right now. Um, actually, you know what, I might add one more thing just really quickly. Once I've got the server running, okay there it is, it's running. I'm now going to go and I'm going to launch my uh, my Technic client again. Now I'm using the batch file that I created in the last video and there's the code for that. Um, it's pretty simple, it doesn't really do a whole lot, it just makes it run out of this folder here. So here we have the Technic launcher running. So again you pick... <coughs> oh wow! We now have two options, Techit Classic and Tekkit Light. This is new. I'm going to go for Tekkit Classic because I don't think that's something that we're going to want to mess with. Now you can see, sorry, just to explain what I did there, you come down the bottom right hand corner, you click Options. Now if you are using the 3.1.2 server, which is the current one you can download from the website, you need to go in here, go to Manual Build Selection, and then come up here and click 3.1.2 for 1.25 recommended build. If you've got the 3.1.3 version of the server, you'll want to pick 3.1.3. Now if you have an error when you do that and you try to log in where it says something like update failed or you don't get the right number of mods, go back to options and click clear cache and that will force it to re-download all of the files and make sure that it uses the files correctly. So I'm going to go 3.1.2 because that was the server that I downloaded. Click OK. Put in my login details. 
tell it to remember it. Just making sure I've got everything right. Say log in. So here we go. So now it's downloading. And it will continue to download and it will work. So I'm just going to pause this for a moment and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so here we go. You can see that it's worked. I'll now go to multiplayer. Just say direct connect. And then join my server. And we can see that it worked. Connected me straight through. Uh, the server console window here says that everything is working correctly. What I'm going to do now is show you an, an error that you might get. I'm going to run the Technic Launch again. This time though I'm going to show you what happens if you have the wrong version selected. So if I select 3.1.3 and have the wrong version and then click login. It's going to it says do you want to update? <clears throat> you click yes, it's not well, it is it is an update in this case, but normally if you have a 3.1.3 you'll be doing a down date or a downgrade. So this time when I try to do a direct connect, it says you are missing these mods. Now if it says you're missing mod IC2 1.97, that means you have the 3.1.3 version of the client and you need the 3.1.2. If it says you're missing mod IC2 1.110 or something like that, rather than 1.97, uh, that means you need the 3.1.3 and you only have the 3.1.2. Pretty much, if, if you get an error, that means you have the wrong one and you need to change which one you have. It's pretty straightforward. The other error you could get, and it will sometimes happen, although not very often, I'm just going to try and run my vanilla now. If you try and use the vanilla Minecraft client, and you try and connect, say join server, you'll get an end of stream. Now pretty much end of stream normally means that you've tried to use a vanilla client to connect. And I'm pretty sure there's an error that goes with that on the server. Yeah, it just comes up that the local host has lost connection. That's that's the local host IP. It just comes up that it's lost connection. So that's that's pretty much standard and straightforward. So um, I think I've really covered everything that I wanted to cover. Again, make sure you type STOP to stop the server when you're ready to stop it. And it's all done. So I hope this has been informative. I hope this helps those of you who have Windows 8 to know what they need to do. Um, I hope it helps those of you who are having some troubles with getting the right version of the client to make sure that you have the right version. Thanks very much for watching. A stocky out.